My name is Jack Delay and I'm a point guard. My name is Joe Gormley and I play guard. My name is Ethan Eason and I play guard. My name is Blake Swanson and I play point guard. Hi, my name is William Lee and I play point guard. My name is Giovanni Cervantes Rocha and I'm a power forward. Dude, why is that my dad? My name is Ryan McDonald and I play forward. Hi, my name is Shane Scott and I play point guard. My name is Griffin Emanuels and I play forward. My name is Matthew Hirschwitz and I play center. My name is Jacob Evans and I play forward. My name is Peter Empey and I'm the team master. Hi, my name is Tina Zhang and I'm the team manager. My name is Justin Mezzestrano and I'm the varsity assistant. Hi, my name is Kevin Tempest, JV coach and varsity assistant coach. My name is Jeff Miller, I'm a varsity assistant coach and I'm in my eighth season. My name is Joe Riley and this is my third year with the Islander program as an assistant coach. My name is Gavin Cree, I'm the head coach in my eighth season. always about the kids. This year probably more so than ever I feel like. They're all so unique and um, they really let them show themselves who they are sometimes on the basketball court. It's really fun for us to see. A lot of what excites me about this year's team is just the newness of everything. we got so many new guys that are stepping into bigger roles than maybe they've had in the last couple of years. We have a lot of youth on the team, um, so a lot of the underclassmen who are playing significant roles on the team. They're almost like a blank canvas in a way to start the season and and we're able to kind of mold them in, into the team that, that we want them to be as the year progresses. So, um, and it's, I'm also excited because it's a different type of team that we've had. It's a really interesting to have a, a team that can spread people out and um, is a little bit more versatile in terms of uh, interchangeability between players. My name's Ethan Eason, and this is my first year playing varsity Mershon basketball. I like to think that I'm more emotionally stable than my teammates. I don't get mad very often. I don't lose my control of my emotions, so I'm kind of just stay consistent there. I play the role of keeping things kind of stable and inspiring confidence in my teammates. My name is Giovanni Cervantes Rocha, and this is my first year playing on the varsity basketball team. I felt like when I went in the games, I felt like our team was more physical. Since I played football, I felt like I could bring physicality into the basketball. And I, I think it would help uh, our team with defense, especially playing the bigger guys, you know, how to go up there and be strong and like just not take anything from them. Welcome to our annual senior player and parent recognition night. Number 44, Jacob Evans. Uh, I'm Jacob Evans, and this is my second year on varsity. Uh, I've been playing since kindergarten. I played at the, uh, the JCC up here uh, in the kindergarten league, and I've played all the way through. And I played with the same group of seniors in fifth grade and in eighth grade. 
it's gotten to the point this year more so the most where I didn't do it as much for the game as much as I did just for the team and for the for the family. Number 12, Blake Swanson. My name is Blake Swanson. I'm a senior and I've been on the varsity for three years. I started playing basketball because my, my dad pushed me to do little dribblers on Saturday mornings when I was in elementary school. Uh, I did not want to do that at all. I did not like basketball then. But I started doing that, started playing some more basketball, and I started having a lot of fun with it, and I just kind of fell in love in middle school. Number 21, Shane Scott. I'm Shane Scott. Um, I've been on the varsity team for three years now. I've been a part of the Marshawn basketball program since fourth, fifth grade, and you always look up to the captains as, as guys you want to try and be like. And um, it was really rewarding to see um, kind of a lifelong goal of mine come true. Yeah, co-captain, that was a really fun experience. Just love working with Shane. Get to be a co-captain on Mercer Island basketball team is something special. Griffin was just the perfect co-captain this year. And, and really our team, kind of everyone bought in. And it wasn't like we had two guys at the top and then a bunch of apprentices. It was really a whole unit just working together, working hard, and having fun. Number three, Jack. Delay. Varsity basketball is so unique in the sense of, once again, you have to be together at all times, and like, there are a ton of basketball games, so you can get better every single time you play, and just like taking taking the time that you have to be on this team, don't take it for granted, and just like put all that you have into it, and just go all out all the time. It's a way to get away from everything, whatever whatever happened that day, you know if someone pissed you off, you can just get away from it, you can get lost in the game. And also, you know, you just be playing with your friends out there. The growth that this team has had has been very substantial. We've grown, and grown in spurts, sort of. So we've had our growing pains for sure, but our growth has really come in waves. Um, I think towards the beginning we had a little bit of a rocky start and I kept on going down, down, and then we picked it r r uh, right back up. I mean, that was just kind of expected, you know. We had a lot of new players coming on the team, a lot of new guys that were, you know, playing in these roles that they have never really played before. So we just started off a little rocky, you know, dropped one against Bellevue early, but we kind of just found our way. You know, and I was loving, you know, we had chemistry, we were making shots, we were, you know, winning games. Probably the biggest challenge is just uh you know, not only for me, but just as a team to overcome that. After we kind of hit that low spot of the season when we were three and five, you know, everybody was, you know, a little bit pissed, a little frustrated. And then we just kind of came together and just started, uh, just started really playing just better basketball and gelling on and off the court. We're a young team, and so we've made some mistakes early on, but we're also a team that can, can play with anybody. And so we've had a lot of close games. So we've had some really exciting games. Our mantra is, you know, live in the moment and one game at a time, one practice at a time. But uh, regardless, Bellevue is always highlighted on the schedule for us. And at Bellevue, you know, they're a rival. And they've, past past few years, they've kind of dominated this conference. We feel like we've had them a few times that we let them get away with some stuff. And this Friday, we're not going to let them get away with it. Huh? Yeah. All right, guys. Listen up. This is what it's about, right here. Okay. Intensity, passion. All right. Emotion. Let's bring all of that. Let's bring all of that right off the bat. Okay. I want them to know that we're here to play. We're here to ball. We're here to. This is a continuation of the last game, where we dominated the first half and we slipped. Okay but we still defended the, the crap out of them for 32 minutes, all right? And we're gonna just continue that and let's, we'll settle the score here, okay? We'll settle it. This is part two of that game, all right? But uh, <coughs> that's what it's gonna be about at the start, is the intensity, the passion, the togetherness, the emotion, have fun out there, okay? Celebrate being out there, okay, in all ways, all right? Um, and we've got a lot of stuff, but it kind of it just comes back to that. It just comes back to that. All comes back to that. Let's go. Let's go, Islanders. One, two, three. Islanders.
Uh, quiet time in music. I like to just be by myself and listen to music and just kind of like engage in what I'm gonna do during the game and how I'm gonna benefit the team. Sometimes I watch uh, like food mixtapes on YouTube and just watching those and it gets my mind in the right state for playing a basketball game. Before games, I usually like to kind of calm down. I actually will probably listen to some more kind of mellow music before games. After, right after school, I, uh, I go home, take a nap. I'm actually pretty shy, uh, kind of nervous in front of crowds, and so I just yell as loud as I can. Like before the games, just yelling at my teammates, let's go, let's go. And uh, it helps me forget the crowds and then ready to play.
I mean, we've played some good games, some big playoff games that have been huge. This one, this one is right there, man, with the, the meaning of this game. The way you played in the first one, okay, and the leadership you guys show out there, the, the, the belief, I knew we could get it done. So we got to take care of our business one game at a time, live in the moment, and we could put a banner up on the wall. Okay, let's go. Let's go, bring it up. One, two, three. Islanders! Yes! There you go. Yes! Woo! That's so bad. That's just number five warm up. Five warm up. Number seven. Number seven. Does it mean to be an Islander? Uh, the definition of an Islander is someone who's compassionate, has perseverance. Loyalty, tradition, dudding things out, just always putting your best foot forward, always trying your best all the time, never holding back. Very responsible and very caring, just enduring adversity with your teammates and um, always staying true to those values. You know, everyone thinks that, you know, just because you live on Mercer Island, you have anything going for you. you got to prove that you're an Islander. You're going to go out there and score and win games. Being an Islander is, is, is a great honor. The tradition in this program is unlike any others. You know, you look on the wall and you see banners up there 30, 40 years ago. You want to almost live up to the past. And there's times when you think, oh, it's not worth it. And you realize that there's generations of teams that have thought that same thing and it hasn't been true and you just kind of have that pride for your team and for your school that uh, a lot of schools don't have. You know Mercer Island basketball has always had a really tight-knit group you know great chemistry on and off the floor and uh, you know through basketball really got to know each and every one of them well and got to a tight-knit group of guys who just enjoy being around each other, enjoy playing basketball, it's something special. I think definitely I really like this team this year. We had a lot of guys who have been playing together for a while and we had a lot of fun together. Um, I know I've grown up with the, four, the three other seniors since elementary school, so it's a lot of fun playing with them. And I think the camaraderie this year was really good and we all got along really well. We're a family, and uh, I remember more of what we did off the court that I do on, because I don't really remember the games that well. But it's the, the team dinners, and they go on the trips, and the, the hanging out in the hotels. That's that's the fun part, and that's that's what it means to be an Islander to me. Love those brothers to death, you know? I love the program, love Mercer Island. I wouldn't rather play for any other team. So I would say I have two favorite games. At Bellevue and at Liberty. My favorite game of the season was definitely at Liberty. I feel like we had a rivalry with Liberty this season. It's been a, a long-standing rivalry and uh, Liberty's coach is a, is a Mercer Island alum. He was an old Mercer Island guy, Omar was. And that just kind of, you know, really uh, spices the rivalry up a little bit, you know. We played Liberty twice this season and we were playing probably our best game of the season. That game was really, really just crazy to me. I mean, we went in there, we were so focused. I can remember lying in bed Thursday night, just like, I was like ready for the game to start. And I had to calm myself down because I had a day of school to focus on. And then um, it was just the, the level of focus was like none other. Hello, CK, thank you. Hey, we're doing a little short visualization, guys, before we get off Everybody there. Everybody in here. Close your eyes. All right, there's gonna be great energy in the building when you go out there, okay? So take it all in, enjoy it, okay? And the band's gonna be playing out there, and you're gonna be getting ready for the game. You're gonna be getting a sweat, getting juiced for the game, okay? Um, that game's the ball's tipped, so there's gonna be a lot of nerves for both teams. That's okay, okay? Those are gonna subside right away, okay? It's gonna be a ball game, all right? And just visualize like we did against Bellevue, okay? Just being here on the road, using the opposing crowd's energy to fuel your poise, fuel your determination, fuel your passion for your teammates and for your school.
okay? First quarter's gonna go by, they're gonna make a couple plays. Crowd's gonna go wild, okay? We're gonna make a couple plays, okay? And we just stay poised, we stay level-headed. Through the first quarter, into the second quarter, more of the same, okay? Plays back and forth, okay? But we just gotta keep steady, 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 okay? And then in that halftime, we'll talk about any adjustments. We'll get back out there for the third quarter. That's our toughest time. That's our toughest moment. That's where we shine. Okay, and then we finish that quarter strong. And then we're in the fourth, and no one can stop us in the fourth. From everything you guys have gone through as a group, okay, everything that we've done, okay, you guys are together. We're standing here with these 12. Let's bring it in, okay, feel each other right now. This is the strength that we have. Let's go, let's go, bring it. Place was you know rock and we had our fans there, their fans there. It was just a great. I loved that. It was the best experience. Omar Parker, who's the coach of Liberty, uh, said a kind of snobby comment to Gavin, saying that Liberty was going to beat us this year because we lost a bunch of seniors, and so it felt really good to kind of put him in his place.
they were not expecting it at all. They were expecting to beat us because it was at home, it was Saturday night. After the game goes celebrating with the guys, it was, it was really like no other night in my life. Where's the team? Hello? 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 Where is anyone? Oh man, I love you guys. Oh. Wait, the cameraman, he's gonna keep it. So proud of the guys. Yeah, just couldn't be. Yeah, just couldn't be prouder. Couldn't be happy right now. I'm so happy right now for our team, especially for my boy Shane. He's a senior. He deserves this the most out of anyone right now. And I think we just executed the ball and just did what we were told. We stuck with the plan and kept and kept fighting. Yeah. We made history tonight, and uh, fortunately, this isn't the end of the season. So. We're about to make more history, baby. Yeah. You better know. Let's go. Can go champs. Can go champs. I think it was a great season, a great experience as my, for my first year on varsity. Um, but I think we could have done much more than, than we had. We unfortunately fell uh, in the tournament championship to Bellevue and, and fell to Ballard in the first round of the district tournament and, and our season was over. We should have gone a lot farther, I think. Um, you know, beginning of the season, frankly, I didn't think we were gonna go that far. And w once we had that Bellevue game, and I started to believe, and I think everyone started to believe that we could, you know, go somewhere. And then we had the Liberty game, and we were really feeling good. And then it just energy ran out, and it was just an anticlimactic and way to end the season. Once we achieved our our goal of of getting that Kinko title, um, it was almost like we we felt content with with our position, and so we kind of lost that edge. So it was upsetting to get knocked out pretty early. That was the earliest that I've gone out in my years on the varsity squad, but I still had a lot of fun and uh, it was it was a good time. Uh, I still definitely don't regret any of it. I feel like, yeah, we, we could have gone farther, deeper in the season, but at the same time, like in a whole, I think it went really well because we won Kinko and I think that, that was one of our goals. I think there was a lot of doubt going into the season about what our team could accomplish. Attaining that, that Kinko title was kind of proving all the doubters wrong, and I think that's something I'm really proud of. To actually put a banner on the wall 2017, just to kind of cement our legacy, um, truly, truly special. I'm most proud of the way this team kind of fought through adversity together and really just bought in as a unit, played together. We kind of embraced being Islanders, embraced the tra tradition that we're, we're a hardworking team and we really showed that off this year. And unlike any other team I've ever been a part of, the relationships I built are really gonna last a lifetime. You know, just with the team chemistry, just the way we were playing as a team, 
during, especially during that win streak that we had, just, you know, I, I was just really proud of the way the team came together and kind of how we changed throughout the year. And I just really think it's going to help the program and the team in years ahead. I will probably miss just like the brotherhood, the togetherness, just the unity. I'll definitely miss the, uh, the guys. I think I'll miss that the most, just being a part of something that's really cool and really special in such a tight-knit community. There's, there's not many experiences you get. You get four years of hanging out with the same group of guys, the same team, going to the same places, doing the same things. And I think that's what I'm going to miss most is the, the people and the, I mean, that's one of those things that you don't get anywhere else. What was a, a really robust senior class came down to four guys. And, and these four, uh, four leaders were, were unbelievable this season and they never lost their confidence. And so I think I'm most proud of just the four of them still standing here at the end and, uh, and, and with, a, with, with putting a banner on the wall and they'll be able to come back into our gym um, for the rest of their lives and see that there and, and know what they accomplished. Going forward into next season, definitely really excited. Uh, it'll be my senior year, and you know, who knows, could be the last year playing basketball ever. And so, you know, it'll be one to remember. The sky's the limit. I think we can accomplish anything. I feel like we'll be coming out strong and hot. I think we'll be a stronger team. I think our chemistry is going to be way better. And I think we can honestly go further than what this year. Oh, I'm pumped for next year. I'm looking for another Kinko Championship, of course, and then go all the way to the Dome. Don't really expect anything, well, anything less. Well, I'll play Bellevue again. I want to get revenge for uh, the first, uh, the one seed in uh, regionals. Can't wait. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I want to get back on the court. I want to, you know, I wish the season started now. But, you know, I think everyone needs to put in work this summer, and that's what we need to do. And next year, we're gonna come out stronger, advance farther. Because of this year, I think next year could be another real special season. Need his name up in lights, he just wants to be heard. Whether it's the beat of the mic, he feels so unlike everybody else alone. In spite of the fact that some people still think that they know, but no, he knows the code. It's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, talks picking it up. Let's go. Who the hell is he anyway? He never really talks much, never concerned with status, but still even in starstruck. Humble through opportunities given despite the fact. The many misjudge him cause he makes a living from writing raps Put it together himself, got a picture connects Never asking for someone's help, but to get some respect He's only focused on what he wrote, his will is beyond reach And now it all unfolds, the skill of an artist 10% luck, 20% skill, 15%